Okay, Makeda Mahadeo is a Rwandan Jamaican content creator, speaker, and DJ based in Kigali, Rwanda's capital city. And having made her mark in film and radio, she joins us on Zoom to tell us all about her journey. Good morning, lady. How you doing? Good morning, Simone. I'm well. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Where do we find you this morning? I'm in Kigali. I'm in you Kigali, are in Rwanda Kigali. Right now. It's just okay. after lunchtime. Oh, uh, is it? What what time now? And what's for lunch? It's almost 2 p.m. What's for lunch? Oh gosh, I don't eat yet, you know. <laughs> I, I have not eaten Sound yet, like, but hopefully okay. soon. Sound like my life story. Okay, let's talk about your life story. Um, your link to Jamaica, your dad was Jamaican. Um, you actually did some schooling here, correct? Talk to us about that, that part of your life before you headed abroad. Okay, so my mother is Jamaican. Your my mom dad is Jamaican. Was Rwandan. Okay. Yeah, and I did majority of my schooling in Jamaica. So I, I did some of prep school, I did all my high school, and I did all my university there. Okay. All right. So how did I mix that up? Okay. So so your dad was Rastafarian or your mom was Rastafarian? They were they're both Rasta. Okay. Actually. My mom's Rasta and my dad was Rasta. Yeah, when he was yeah. Old. And your dad is, 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 was also in your business. So did you kind of get this from him? No, you know, I actually didn't know him well when he was alive. I, I had met him only a few times. I got to spend a little bit of time with him before he passed away. Um, and I learned more about him being in this business after he passed away, really. Really? Um, so I knew it a bit and I had seen him perform one time before he passed away, but I mostly learned about it towards the end and after. Um, but maybe it's just in the bloodline, I don't know. I'm telling you, well, I was just going to say it was in your DNA, right? Incredible. Right. So, lady, how did you end up in that part of the world? So, when I had finished university, I just had more curiosity, I think, naturally, about the fact that I had this other side of my heritage that I didn't know. Um, I had grown up with my father, but I knew that there was more to my, to my heritage. And so um, I just started to kind of research more and I had an opportunity to go to Africa. My mother was going to Ethiopia at the time. And so I just jumped on her flight <laughs> and I took my own trip to Rwanda and um, I got the number of, a, of an uncle and he picked me up and I kind of just got to know it that way. I didn't know a single soul. Um, and I, I just made friends and ended up feeling really at home. Yeah, and decided you yeah. just never wanted to leave. You felt a connection just, to, the, to the place. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so tell me about the foray now into all these other areas. So you DJ, you produce, you present, you've worked on radio, I see you doing now a gig on TV, you've worked on breakfast shows. I mean, how did you step foot into media generally and then and then all these channels that fall under that media banner right um it was really organic actually i started in media in jamaica just after high school when i was in university i did um my first tv gig was <laughs> with retv high school tour i actually hosted uh one season of the retv high school tour and I kind of got into the space that way. And then when I came to Rwanda, I ended up um, just visiting a radio station, just being curious about it and hanging around and ended up taking over a show there um, organically. And then um, from doing radio, I got into TV and then, you know, from DJing my own parties, DJing, I kind of just taught myself. I had a friend teach me the basics and I would throw parties so that people could kind of see how we party in Jamaica. And, hey, hey. You know, they, you know, I wanted the people them to know. And so I would play a lot of dance hall and reggae and some of my favorite songs. And then from there, it kind of just grew and people would ask me to DJ their parties and everything was really organic, I have so, to say. So your style, your, your DJs, your, the genres you specialize in, so it's dance hall, um, what else? Because we know Afrobeats know I mean, Billboard has kicked yeah. out the reggae charts for the Afrobeats chart, right? So we know where we are. Afrobeats is so big, like Caribbean white, Jamaica is big on it. A lot of our artists are making music influenced by that. So tell me a little bit about, um, one, how you feel about that, and two, you know, your style of play. 
as a DJ? So I I kind of play around with a lot of different music. Right now it's a lot of Afrobeats because that's what everybody wants to hear. But I, I will always keep my reggae dance all in there. And I play some house music and R&B. Like I really switch it up, um, kind of the way that I like to listen to music. Uh, I play that way. Um, but it has been really interesting to see how when I first came about a decade ago, it was a lot of dance hall that was really dominating. Yeah. And that's how the Afrobeats kind of took a lot of cues from dancehall. And so it sounded really similar at a certain point, and then it kind of evolved from there. And now Afrobeats has just taken over. And it's really, I mean, it's a beautiful thing because now it's kind of coming back and we're seeing a lot more um, collaborations between dancehall artists and and Afrobeats artists. And it's it almost feels like a coming home for me because you know, it's it's a journey that I had to take. You know, I was living in Jamaica and then I came to Africa and then the music kind of followed that same path. Mm-hmm. And it was really, I mean, it's it's beautiful. It's lovely, I have to say. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what next? What next from Akeda? Oh gosh, what next? You know what? Every time I have made a plan and said, <laughs> this is what I'm doing next, <laughs> it has never worked out the way we say, God laughs when you make a plan. It has been... My life must have been jokes, seriously. So I don't even make plans anymore right now. Um, you know, I am doing a little bit more DJing. I'm getting more into filmmaking now. It's what I'm really inspired by and producing more TV. And so... And what kind of films are you making, Makeda? So I'm trying to make some short films now. Um, I've just been having dreams uh, about just different stories that I really want to tell. Um, and a lot of it having to do with kind of bringing together spirituality, but also, you know, Caribbean and and Africa. There's so many similarities that we hear about sometimes, but we we haven't really connected those dots 100%, and I just want to kind of contribute to that story. And so um, doing that through creating content like short films and more television shows and stuff, that's what I'm really interested in. But, of course, still DJing and, you know, Kind of just following the flow. Yes, and not planning. Of course. Okay. Who do you want to say hi to before we wrap this up? Because we've got to go. I got to say hi to my mommy. Hi, mom. <laughs> hi to my aunties and my uncles, family. Cassie Madirka, Auntie Joan, Auntie Celia, Uncle Mike, all my family. I love you guys. And I can't wait to see you soon. You done? <laughs> you sure? <laughs> you talk, you said we're <laughs> We do, we do. You know. Greetings from across <laughs> the world was brought to you by. Thank you, my lovely. When is soon? When do you plan to be home? Hopefully later on in the year, if not early next year. All right. I just come from there. So. Oh, okay. 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 Well, we wish you all the best. Keep blazing your Thank trail. You so much. It was great to catch up with you Thank this morning. Um, thanks for the time you spent with us. DJ, filmmaker, and producer. Makeda Mahadeo, sending her greetings from across the world <laughs> and catching us up on what's going on with her. All right, so a conversation on a controversial candidacy. That is after the break. Mm-hmm.